I am so excited for today's video, which is my top three favorite sunscreens for over 40 skin. Hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom here. I do sunscreen reviews and am on a mission to help prevent skin cancer. So don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. I am 43. My skin has been through a myriad of changes. <laughs> in my 30s, I had desert dry skin. And now in my 40s, I've kind of evened out to normal skin. Right after I had my second child at 39, I had combination skin that leaned normal, leaning oily. And now I feel like I just have normal skin. It is winter. I'm filming this in January of 2024. So maybe that's balancing out my skin. Also hormones. <laughs> I mean, I did not know that your skin changes so much throughout the years. So if you have normal skin, these are my top three recommendations. Normal, aging, aging skin. <laughs> we need some help with the perfecting and taking care of the sun damage and minimizing the dark spots. We need all the help at, the, at this age. My first one is Toady. I discovered Toady, which is a Spanish brand by Sofia Vergara. Here Colombia, where I come from, everyone has a nickname, and mine was Toti, because my older brother, rest in peace, couldn't pronounce my name and started calling me Toti instead of Sofia. I discovered it last year in the fall and have fallen in love. I've already used up one bottle completely. I have a review, complete review and wear test. I'll link it right here. And I have purchased a second bottle. That's how much I love it. And here are all the great things about the Toady sunscreen. It is SPF 50, okay? I love an SPF 50 on my face. It comes in the squeezy tube that I like. That little, that little tip, it just makes for perfect application. It's $42 for 1.7 fluid ounces, which I know is a bit pricey. But the UV filters are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Also, I love a mineral, mineral UV filter sunscreen. It has a soft beige pigment that helps reduce the, reduce the white cast. Now, one of my viewers who has slightly darker skin than me, she said it did have a white cast on her. So if you have darker skin than I do, if you're not the fairest of fair, there might be a white cast, just a warning. It's lightweight, it's sheer, it has a velvety matte touch and is a natural finish. On my skin, it does not look glowy and it does not look super matte. It's somewhere in the middle, which most people refer to as a natural finish. It just looks like skin. It's fragrance free, ophthalmologist tested, and I tested it around my eye area. I have very sensitive eyes. <laughs> And I wear contacts, so I can't have any stinging or irritation. And I can say that there was no stinging or irritation. I put it all around my eye area every time I use the sunscreen and it doesn't even run into my eyes. This sunscreen is also very water resistant for 80 minutes. So is great for an active lifestyle. We are going on vacation this summer and I will be taking the sunscreen with me. <laughs> because I know I will be in the pool. Some key ingredients are ferulic acid and vitamin C, which helps prevent the signs of photo aging. It also has iron oxides, which protects against blue light. Overall, a fantastic daily sunscreen as well as vacation sunscreen. I feel like this sunscreen is just very well-rounded, therefore worth the price of $42 for me. But I know for a lot of you that is expensive. That's why I'm going to recommend this next sunscreen, the Misha Soft Finish. You know this is my holy grail. It's been a holy grail probably for what, going on five years now <laughs> when I first discovered it? Okay, probably not five. Three, that seems more realistic because I think I discovered this sunscreen soon after my melanoma diagnosis in 2021. It was one of the first ones that people recommended to me. Mama, what are you doing? I'm talking over here. Mama Blossom, can you not be so loud while I'm filming, please? That's some sass. That's a sassy cat, sassy torty. Misha is a Korean brand, and I used to purchase it on Amazon, but I have received some feedback from several of you that if you don't purchase specifically off the Misha brand 
website of Amazon, like the storefront of Misha, then you might get a dupe or a, a not quite right Misha soft finish. So make sure if you're purchasing on Amazon, and I will link it below, that you're purchasing through the Misha storefront on Amazon. So I have started buying mine off of Yes Style and Style Vanya, which I also have discount codes for just to be safe <laughs> because they get me the real authentic Misha soft finish. It's SPF 50 with PA and three pluses and the price point, are you ready for it? It's around $12. I know, fantastic price point. It comes in a squeezy tube that I like with that with that, the dispensing tip that I absolutely love and prefer. It's a hybrid sunscreen, so meaning that the UV filters are both chemical and mineral. The main mineral UV filter is titanium dioxide, but it also has zinc oxide and iron oxides in it. It is a lightweight serum texture, very runny, sinks onto the skin quickly, dries super fast, and gives a velvety matte finish that I absolutely love. So much so that I applied this sunscreen on top of foundation. And that right there makes it a game changer for me. So I can put it on underneath and then as I go throughout my day, I can reapply on top of my foundation, which is perfect here in South Carolina in this humid, hot weather that we tend to get in the summers. Uh, honestly, late spring, summer, and fall. <laughs> where I am a naturally glowy girl. I have normal skin. In the summer, it leans more glowy because of the humidity in the air. And I need a matte something, powder, foundation, sunscreen, to help tone down that glowiness, that natural glow. And I can reapply this on top of foundation. I just pat it in and it doesn't mess with my foundation, fantastic. It's also magic under foundation. It acts as a beautiful primer, I swear. <laughs> it blurs my pores and my imperfections. I have acne scarring over here. Occasionally I get a lot of texture. Sometimes I get some zits down here on my chin from hormones and it blurs all of that under when I put the foundation on top, fantastic. How many times can I say fantastic? The two cons, one, it is fragranced, highly fragranced. Misha, Misha, please remove the fragrance from the sunscreen. It's not needed. Um, I don't put it around my eye, my immediate eye area for that reason because the fragrance bothers my eyes. Uh, also, I have heard from several of you that have darker skin tone than I do that it may cause a white cast because it has mattifying, um, oil absorbing, ingredients in it. All right, so number three, if you're not into the matte, right, and you want something nourishing for your skin, especially during these winter months, this next one is gonna be great. You're gonna love this one. It's the Glytone Hydra Lipid Sunscreen. It's SPF 40. Now it is expensive at $42 for 1.7 fluid ounces. It's worth it, <laughs> in my opinion. And here's the reasons why, okay? It comes in a pump, it has mineral UV filters, although the percentages are small, okay? 2% titanium dioxide and 1% zinc oxide. It does contain other chemical ingredients that I have heard also act as UV filters, but they are not on the FDA approved list for UV filters. So they aren't considered UV filters but may have UV filtering properties, which is why I think the mineral um, UV filters are so low in their percentages. It has hyaluronic acid to increase the moisture in your skin. It has squalling to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Who doesn't want those things? <laughs> hyaluronic acid also has a slight plumping effect that helps reduce those fine lines. It's fragrance free. I can put it all around my eye area and no stinging, no irritation. It's also recommended, out of the three of these, it is recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation, which is a very short list of sunscreens. It has a soothing lotion texture. Your skin, my skin instantly felt hydrated when I used this. Now it is natural leaning glowy finish, okay? It looks like, it looks dewy. Uh, dewy moisturized skin look. Now it has no white cast on me, but I can't guarantee that on others because I don't, I haven't heard from anybody about whether or not 
this has a white cast on darker skin tones. I would think not though, because it has only 1% zinc oxide and it has no oil absorbing or mattifying ingredients in it, which those can also tend to leave a white cast. So I'm thinking it is good for darker skin tones. It's a very moisturizing. I love it during the cold winter times, but I can also get away with wearing this in the summer months as well. It looks beautiful under makeup and it's better for daily wear because it's not water resistant. The only drawback I see here is the price point. If you are over 40, drop your favorite sunscreen in the comment section down below. I would love to read what you are loving right now. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. I'll see you in my next video, bye.